For the Y, T, W, L, you're actually making a Y, a T, a W, and an L shape with your arms. And this is primarily to warm up the shoulders into the rotator cuff muscles, lots of the upper back. Plus your lower back is actually getting a little bit of a warm up as well because you're holding a bent over position. So the bent over position is going to be knees softly bent, hips are going to go to the rear, and this is going to be the most stable position for your back. We're not going to lock the knees out and let the back start to round. So you want to maintain a solid hinge position as you're going through this exercise and you're not going to move your torso as you do the arm motion. So don't start to lift. Keep your body in the same position. So about 45 degrees. From here, we're starting with the arms down. So you can maybe think thumbs up and we're gonna make that shape. So for some reason, a Y shape is really difficult for most people. You think Y, just like you're standing, arms at like 35, 45 degrees, making an actual Y. From this bent over position, it's the same thing. So the arms should reach to where you can see your hands in your peripheral vision as you lift. So they're not out here. Lift your arms up and forward about 45 degrees and you'll feel right along in here, the shoulder blades are moving down and you're getting a lot of work on the back side of those shoulders as you're pulling the shoulder blades down, okay? So the Y shape is here and generally you're gonna do anywhere between five and 20 of those. And then once you get the Y completed, you move on to the T. So the T is just straight out to the side. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just straight off of the shoulder. So from here, it's like you're doing a rear delt raise. It's basically the exact same thing, except that we may or may not be using weight here, okay? So we're not allowing the arms to shift forward because that's more like the Y. We're keeping the arms straight off to the side of the body, making a straight line from the shoulder, from the shoulders out to the hands, okay? So you might start to feel that a bit more in the rear part of the delt, you'll still feel the shoulder blades moving a little bit as well. So same thing from there, usually between five and 20 reps of those. And then from there, we're moving on to the W shape. So this can be a little bit ambiguous, but whenever you're doing a W shape, you should essentially end here. So think the W is like going from your arms to your head. So you don't have to get your arms way back necessarily, um, but a little bit down is fine as well, somewhere in this vicinity, okay? So we're reaching just slightly in front and then we're kind of rowing as we pull the arms up. So about 35 to 45 degrees in front of you, arms are coming up and slightly back. So you'll feel the shoulder blades moving together once again, and you're also emphasizing pushing the arms back just a little bit. So a little bit of external rotation there, so almost like you're rowing, and that downward pull of the elbows will get you to feel a bit more of the lats. And then for the L shape, you're, you're specifically doing internal and external rotation of the shoulder. So you're keeping your arms straight off of the shoulders. Don't let them start to sag. Keep the arms in a straight line off of the shoulders and you're literally doing this motion. So these are your L's. You're just rotating through the shoulders. So uh, bend forward here. We're starting with the arms in internal rotation. Hands are down, we're rotating back just like this. And you're trying to keep this nice and controlled, not throwing your arms around, but trying to control the range of motion, getting as much range of motion through that as you can just to get those shoulders warmed up, okay? So this one, try to be very particular with the shapes. So most people will just fly through it just to get done with it, um, but it is a great warm up for all different aspects of the shoulders, internal rotation, external rotation, all kinds of different stuff, basically shoulder stability in general. It's great for healthy shoulder joints, so be particular about your joint, or about your arm shapes, um, and go nice and slow through your reps. And then because it's normally done as a warm up, you don't typically have to add resistance, but if you've just done this a lot and you've progressed past this, start by adding light weight like dumbbells or wrist weights and then move up from there.